Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With uh, with my beloved jackal, more or less resisting the dip, it 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 simply didn't. Uh, I thought, you know what? Let let's go ahead and, and uh, do a quick one on this stuff. Uh, now, keep in mind, from my perspective on on virtually all of this, uh, jackals, uh, it, it's a it's an investable token, sure, but jackal's not really designed for that. It's designed to be used. It's designed to be used to pay for jackal storage. Now, let me show you, and that's what this whole video is. Real quick, if you've never used jackal storage, this is how you use jackal storage. It takes you nothing to set it up. There is no KYC. There's none of that. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, brand new, fresh Kepler wallet. And we're just starting from my uh, just a, a generic screen. Now, what you're going to want to do is come over to app.jackalprotocol.com, app.jackalprotocol.com. We'll put the link in there, and it's going to be logged into your Kepler wallet. All right, you're going to need to be uh, logged into Kepler. This is what you're going to see. You're going to come up and say, nope, you got to buy something first. That's the thing. Now, you can see my total hold, my total jackal holdings on this wallet is sitting right there. The neat thing is that that's enough to get you going. One jackal, 47 cents or whatever it happens to be at this moment. That's all you need. Now, we're even going to get really, really nuts, and we're going to pay for this annually. So if you click that little button from monthly to annually, you're going to see that you're going to get two gigabytes. Not much, guys. This is just an experiment just to see how it works. But you're going to get two gigabytes of backup storage for 19 cents. If you want to do it for an entire year, it's 19 cents. If you want to do it for a very short time like I'm doing right now, then it's going to cost you two cents. So we're just going to put that in there. We're going to select it. We're going to purchase the space and we're going to approve it. Now, I'd like to point out that at no time during this, did they ask who you are? Did they ask what's your login? What's your email? What's your anything? No, because they don't care. They said, do you got two cents worth of Jackal? You do? <laughs> hey, welcome to Jackal. Now, from there, there's another couple different things that you can do. I'm getting pinged here, guys. Sorry, I've had them on call this weekend. Uh, there's a couple other things that you can uh, play around with here if you really want to. And I'll do it once just because I want to get it. Uh, I Just once because I just want to get it done here. So, uh your display address there it's going to kick you one in if you want to go over over here and play with the name service rns all that i don't doesn't matter uh but it will also show you a list of all the providers that are available up here these are all the different providers that are available over here on jackal i'm going to pick one at random i'm going to save it now from there we're going to go to storage approve because it's going to cost us a penny because or less than a penny it costs us a little gas fee because this is the first time that we're getting this going now it's important that you see this uh initialize storage yes run it's going to cost you another 0.000498 jackal again because you're prepping it because this is the first time that you've ever used the dashboard you're going to pay it now right here is where everybody gets jammed up there is a very old bug that they're fixing in the new uh version but it's been here for a long long time you could keep coming over here and hitting home and storage and it's going to keep coming back and it's going to bing you right here or the fix that it's that's always kind of worked for me is you just simply refresh the page. Refresh the page, connect your wallet, Kepler, select, and uh oh, oh that's Kepler. You know what? I'm not gonna reset the cache data. I'm gonna say you do it again and we'll approve it. I, I love Kepler. I'm a huge fan. This is why I do these live guys, so that you can see all of the things that I run into, that you run into, that we we run into, and why I don't edit them out. Web3 is imperfect, and Kepler definitely is. So anyway, after that, you're going to come back up here, and now you're in your storage. Now I'm going to reselect uh, a. I'm going to reselect my provider. I'm going to make sure it's still that's the one I want to go to, and then we're going to create a folder. We're going to call it test. And we are going to hit OK. So sign the gas, 0.000068. So we're, again, we're not talking much jackal. I can make it work with a single jackal for an entire year. It doesn't really matter how much I upload or download. Now we're going to, now that we're up, we're running, and you can see that we are home and go back to storage. And there's our folder, test folder. See it right there? All right. So now we're going to hit that. Now we're in our test folder. We're going to browse our files. Uh, I didn't want to do a long one here, so we'll do just a small uh, live from, I don't know, 
Minneapolis. Uh, there you go. So we're just going to take it. Now, this is a bigger file than most people are going to send up, but we'll send it up here. Now, you're going to run into block time on this because this is stored on the blockchain. Six seconds to find a spot. The time it takes you to down uh, upload it to the Jackal protocol, it's a little bit slower because it's being encrypted off from your computer right now. It's being encrypted off your computer, and an encrypted file is being sent over to Jackal protocol, and then it finds a spot on the chain, and then it's uploaded. So right now, that file right there that you're going to see it here in a second has been assigned a file ID at a chain ID so that the Jackal protocol knows where that file is located, but it doesn't know what the file is now here is where jackal is different than every other competitor out here just want to make sure is that this is active hot storage that is usable right here from the dashboard so if i was to come over here and hit that button right there you're going to see that that file six seconds it's going to find the file and it's going to pull the file out to me and then i'm going to be able to again man it's blockchain speed here so i'm going to be able to come up and uh view that file right from here now i did this live with patrick and uh, on an interview and it actually uh testing and production man is bold and that's effectively what we're doing right here is testing and production and of course it doesn't want to work right this second again probably because we're live and uh, or we're live and because I don't edit so I don't want to wait I just get a refresh and we'll go back up there and find our file again and hit it so it's not a perfect uh, not a perfect video I'm gonna have to do all this again aren't I I wanted to show the one uh, little blooper that we get when you have that run in that you have to refresh the file there we go now it comes up now it's hot and you can see all right pot of I don't know what I was doing in this video. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, there's there's your video. And pay attention right here again to the uh, to the download speed. If I want to pull that file back, so let me see if it'll do it again. Zero and boom, there it is. Ten megabyte file pulled back, recalled. Uh, again. I like to show these things live, guys, all right, so that you see everything that I see so that there is no real tech support issue. I could have loved it, uh, that hitting it the very first time, but, man, blockchain, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But a uh, simple refresh will certainly get it back. So anyway, guys, look, that is step-by-step -step how to uh, start using Jackal Storage for a single Jackal. Questions, comments, scottofpodcast.com. I answer any and all. We will be live tonight. And until next time, please stay safe and please be smart with your money, guys. Cheers.